Hi, I'm Dr. Lakshmi Lavanya, endocrinologist. We will discuss about pregnancy in diabetes type 1 and type 2. Type 1 diabetes is a diabetes where there is a deficiency of pancreatic insulin making capacity right from a very young age. This can also happen in a middle age and young adolescent and childhood years. In this condition, there is no absolute production of insulin from the pancreas. So these patients have to take insulin from outside source for entire life. Type 2 diabetes happens due to a genetic disorder, increased weight gain and a poor lifestyle uh, which they adapt to due, uh, due to busy lifestyle and stressful conditions. Now these people start with a lifestyle modification, diabetes medications usually get started early on and later insulin also has to be treated to control their diabetes. Uh, in both type 1 and type 2 ladies when they plan pregnancy it should happen in a very planned way because right before conception their HbA1c which is the mean average glucose for last 3 months should be around 6 to 6. 0.5%. Also, their fasting sugar should be less than 90. Post meal blood sugar should be less than 120 in a very strict manner because a very tight control of sugar is essential for them to conceive in a proper way to have a good embryo formation and a good uh, fetal uh, development. Uh, in the fetal development, which is a child growth inside the uterus of the mother, the most important aspect is heart formation and the neurological system formation, the IQ development and a proper growth. And for all these, uh, good diabetes control is very essential. Hence, during the uh, pregnancy also, the fasting sugar should be less than 90 and post-meal blood sugar, two hours later after meal when they are checked, should be less than 120. It is essential to do these tests every day at home and follow a proper diet regimen and see their diabetologist or endocrinologist on a timely basis. Also connect with a, a, a very good dietitian so they understand the, the diet course during the pregnancy. Now in pregnancy, both in type 1 and type 2, it always starts with diet and later we increase their activity to a level where they are comfortable at walking or yoga, whichever they have been comfortably doing prior to pregnancy should be continued during pregnancy. Other than uh, lifestyle changes, we generally adopt to a medication called metformin in patients with diabetes type 2. But in type 1 and type 2 as well, when the sugars go higher, insulin is the predominant course of therapy during a pregnancy because this is the safest for the mother and for the child. Insulin does not cross placenta and this has to be given during the pregnancy to control their sugars to an optimal level to avoid complications. So please approach your nearest endocrinologist or a diabetologist for a proper care during diabetes in pregnancy especially to have a very good control of diabetes uh, and have a good outcome and have a healthy baby. Mm -hmm.